Oh, you know it's the, the most popular New Year's resolution, trying to get fit for the new year. But if you're trying to lose weight, are you focusing on the right numbers? It often gets confusing if we're talking about fat percentage, BMI, how do you break it all down? Well, Claire Edgeman, a registered dietitian at Baylor College of Medicine, is here to help us out. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Let's talk about what the difference is between how body fat, this mass index, we, a lot of people don't understand what that is, but we hear a doctor say it all the time, perhaps. BMI is just something that's very easily used in a clinical setting to mm -hmm. establish somebody's weight. It's just a comparison of the weight over their height. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take into account muscle, bone, mm -hmm. or fat. And so that's not a good thing, right? It could potentially not be a good thing, but it is a good starting measure. Okay. And if we find somebody is in a BMI range of in the 20s, mm -hmm. we might do a little bit more. We might look at their body fat. We might also look at metabolic factors like blood glucose, blood cholesterol. Mm -hmm. A lot of scales, especially if you have one of those digital ones, will tell you the fat percentage. Is that different than the BMI that you're talking about? Yes, yeah, so the body fat that you look at with the scale is a bioelectric impedance. It's measuring the amount of fat that you have in your body. Maybe not necessarily all that accurate, but mm -hmm. it is good to keep track of like week to week. Are there numbers that you want us to think about, a percentage where we need to try to aim for? <laughs> so body fat is very um, broken down. We have athletic levels, we have fitness levels. Mm -hmm. For a healthy individual, for women, it's 25 to 31%, and for men, it's 8 to 24%. Okay, and that's a big difference. Again, does that all depend on height, or what? why, why the that difference? It seems like no matter what your height, you should all be the same, but it just doesn't work that way, huh? A lot of it depends on age as well. Okay. Younger, we have a lower body fat percentage, and as we get older, we're more likely to gain more fat. Do you feel like it's fair to say the majority of people don't have the, the perfect BMI, so to speak, or in that right range? How are we faring there in, in our country? BMI has a lot of limitations right now, so okay. I would not necessarily okay. use that as a, as a designating factor. Okay, so you wouldn't necessarily say that it, uh, you, uh, the obesity epidemic is certainly not looking at that, more on weight levels. I will say that with BMI, the higher BMI you get, the more likely it is to reflect a body fat measure mm -hmm. that's high. So we could use it in that perspective for sure. Okay. Is there a way that we can just figure it out ourselves? Perhaps we have, oh, I don't know, some of the stubborn guys out there, no, I won't pick on you, who just don't want to go to the doctor. So they don't have their doctor telling them that. How can we tell what our own BMI is? BMI, a lot of um, calculators are available on okay. Google, so you can enter your height and your oh, weight. That's good to know. Yeah, it's um, your height over your meter, uh, height in kilograms. Weight in kilograms over height in meters squared. Okay, did you get that, everybody? Good <laughs> just luck. Just go to Google. Maybe you just need to go see your doctor, I would say. What is, if, okay, let's, let's say that your doctor tells you your BMI is way out of range. What are some ideas that are doable for this New Year's to get that to a healthier position? Focused on plant-based eating, fruits, mm -hmm. vegetables, whole grains, plant-based proteins, excellent sources of nutrition for you. You know that scares Texans <laughs> to hear that. But even if you try to do that a couple of times a week, it can make a difference, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I, and I feel like that's doable. If you take it out a couple of days a week, it might help. Consider sure. pasta instead of that steak for dinner. Or plant-based proteins like beans, legumes, those are excellent sources of, new, of protein. Mm -hmm. All right, you heard it right here. We've got this specialist in the house from Baylor College of Medicine. Thanks for breaking this down, making us better understand, hopefully getting the new year off on the right foot. Thank you for inviting All me. All right, have a good one. Thanks.